I'm a very big fan of animated films. In fact, most of the films that I watch are animation or horror. Usually animation. And I will always watch any new animation that's released to see what it's like. So on the one hand, because I watch a lot of animation, it means that I kind of have, in some ways, higher expectations for what I personally like. But it also means that, generally, I'm easily pleased by an animation. So Marmaduke could have gone either way. I honestly think that it was an okay film. Nowhere near as bad as the 3.1 out of 10 average rating on IMDb. That is a shockingly low rating. And I don't really understand why it's been rated so poorly. It's not phenomenal, but it's not like the narrative doesn't flow well. The voice acting's fine. It's well animated. It's not phenomenal, but there's nothing about it that I identified that I would consider to be bad. I didn't think it was in poor taste. I didn't think it was poorly animated. The voice acting is good. The narrative flows. So, I don't know. Maybe I'm not seeing something that other people are. Which, if, if that's the case, then I guess that's fortunate for me. Because it means I enjoyed it more than most people. But as I said, it still wasn't anything particularly incredible. This was released this year in 2022. And is basically... Well, of course, is about the dog, Marmaduke. And... All I can ever hear is Owen Wilson saying Marmaduke from the 2010 film. And that's kind of the only thing that I can maybe think of is why people have rated it quite poorly because they're comparing it to the 2010 film. And maybe they expected something as decent as that. Even though that film itself is not exactly a phenomenal high award winning film. But maybe they expected something that quality and got something less. And usually when you're feeling disappointed, you tend to rate things even more poorly than you would have done if you had no expectations. That's kind of the only theory that I can come up with. But this is, of course, about the dog called Marmaduke. Um, this beautiful Great Dane. He's very well animated and he is a very lovable but not very well disciplined dog. So this champion award winning dog trainer decides to take this impossible to train dog on. As a project, will Marmaduke become a champion dog by the end or will he forever remain undisciplined? I'm obviously not going to say what happens, but I enjoyed it. I didn't love it. I didn't think it was that funny, but I really liked Marmaduke. Marmaduke is a character I warmed to straight away. He's voiced by Pete Davidson and I just thought he was absolutely adorable. And I really did thoroughly enjoy the voice acting in this across the board. I thought that the comedy when it existed the markers were all hit i think the delivery of lines were very effective and as a dog i was going to say as a dog owner i no longer have a dog um my dog passed away many years ago now but as somebody who has owned a dog and knows what it's like to have a dog who is lovable and affectionate but sometimes a little bit ditzy um a little bit dozy i could really kind of feel for marmaduke and you know, it became a little bit emotional at times. I'm not saying it completely tugged on my heartstrings, which is a good thing. I do not like sad animation films about animals. I just can't do it, which is one of the reasons why I didn't watch this the second I discovered it existed, which quite often I do with animations. But this one, I gave it a couple of weeks. I'm not entirely sure when this came out, actually. All I know is that Netflix was telling me to watch it and, of course, I was going to give it a go. So it's not hilarious. But there are some moments that I thought were quite interesting. Um, it's not unpredictable, but again, it's fuzzy and easy to watch. It's definitely one of those films to put on where, you know, when you want something that's kind of background noise, you want the company of a film, but you don't really want to have to just sit down and pay 100% attention. It's like a warm, fuzzy friend who is there for you but who is not going to complicate things, who is not going to give you any real emotional roller coaster. It's a nice film. I definitely think it will appeal to children more than adults because, again, it's not overly complicated. If you sat down with no other distractions, I think you would probably lose your mind quite quickly because it's not that detailed. But on its own, I think it would be really really entertaining for children. Of course, I don't have children. If you have children and they've watched it and have not liked it, I'd love to know. You know, I'd love to know what kind of younger children are thinking of this. It is certificated PG. I don't think certificated is a verb, but never mind. Um, 
I don't know, would you certificate something? I don't know. Clearly the film has made me lose my mind. Marmaduke is not a bad film. It does not deserve 3.1 out of 10. I don't usually, in my reviews, give number ratings. But if I were to rate it on IMDb, I'd give it maybe a 5.5 .5 out of 10. Very much middle of the road. Not hilarious, but not completely dull. Well animated, but nothing groundbreaking. Good voice acting, but nothing that I thought was particularly, particularly phenomenal. Marmaduke is an easy film to watch that will not rock your emotions too much. If you're an animal fan or if you like animations, give it a watch. But I'm not going to say hurry up and see it right now because you're not really missing out on anything too phenomenal.